Scott Morrison and Bill Shorten have gone head-to-head. -head. That's their second televised leaders' debate. It took place last night in Brisbane. The pair sparred over franking credits, tax cuts and freedom of religion. Our political reporter, Eliza Lashana, has more from Brizzy. In front of around 100 undecided voters in a live studio audience yesterday, uh, the leaders debated everything from climate change to education policy uh, to freedom of religion and speech and also mental health. Now, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, uh, took a swipe at Labor's uh, plan to cut uh, franking credits and uh, Mr Shorten retaliated by uh, basically criticising the coalition for not doing enough to crack down on tax avoidance. Now, Bill Shorten has also been under almost daily pressure on the campaign trail to release Labor's uh, policy costings. He revealed last night that he would do so uh, next Thursday or Friday, which means voters will be left with just over a week uh, to see that detail to help them make up their mind before they uh, vote on the 18th. Now, let's have a listen into uh, that debate, which, yes, was often at times tense. What's the number? The Australian figure? Institute is not a figure so what's that the I, would, I, would, I would agree. I said, I've told you what the figure what is. is. From 40,000 above, the figure is 96 million no, dollars. I'm asking million, for those over 180,000 that hasn't been oh, specifically um, set apart. And I wouldn't believe the Australia well, Institute. But the well, point I was trying number? to make, though... I'm happy to decode the question. Yeah, no, what is the right. top income bracket going to get in 2024-25? And how much is that going to cost for the remainder of the see, medium term? See, this is the point about... $77 billion to yeah. the top 3% of earners. Yeah. That's nice money if you See, can get it. I, I think, well, the other day when you met a, a worker in Gladstone... Where are you going? ..and they, they were earning $250,000 and you sidled up to him, you're having a bit of a chat to him and, and he complained about this and what did you say to him? He said, oh, we'll have a look at that. You couldn't look him in the eye and tell him that you were going to increase his taxes by 2% on the 1st of July of this year. You could do Anyway. I'm just wondering, if, <laughs> okay. can you look me in the eye you're and a, tell you're going to you increase are a classic, the taxes? You're a classic space invader. Um, <laughs> Now, ultimately, Bill Shorten did win that, vote, win that debate, according to uh, the audience members there, but it was only narrowly. We heard from uh, some of those people outside the debate yesterday to see uh, what convinced them uh, to vote for him or the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. If you asked me to vote tonight, I would vote Bill Shorten. I didn't think I would, but he answered my questions. I had an opportunity to talk to him afterwards and he's talking to middle-class middle families at the moment. I think, I think Scott Morrison, uh, the Prime Minister, was a bit more statesman-like in his approach. You know, uh, and I felt that you know, if, if Bill Shorten didn't want to answer a question, he was insistent, oh, let me answer this. You know, people want answers. Um, I'm still undecided, yeah. I didn't feel like that one party's views were better than the other. And you're in Brisbane, Eliza, where the debate took place. What do the leaders have planned for today? Well, both leaders are waking up in Brisbane today and, as usual, uh, what happens on a campaign day is usually kept quite tightly under wraps. But we do know that the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, will make a $100 million announcement at a hospital in south-east Queensland. And uh, Bill Shorten will be announcing an extra $200 million to go towards the uh, Labor's environmental protection policy. Uh, but what we can expect uh, today is more about uh, candidates and controversial candidates, uh, voters, uh, wouldn't be criticised for not being able to keep up with the number. So far, it's five dumped candidates or those who have quit from the major parties, three on the Liberal side, two on Labor. Uh, the latest, Jessica Whelan uh, from the Liberals, the Tasmanian candidate for anti-Muslim comments online. And yesterday, Labor lost its uh, candidate for the seat of Melbourne, Luke Creasy, over inappropriate comments online too. We haven't heard Bill Shorten comment on that since then, so we can expect more from him from the campaign trail today.